Hi everybody, I am Chantel and I am making a video review for the Magic Chef 2.6 cubic foot electric 110 volt dryer. Um, I'm making this review because when I was on the market looking for a portable washer and a portable dryer, I, I saw a couple of reviews um, on the dryers but there weren't any, you know, that were, you know, very helpful to me. Um, I saw plenty of reviews on the washer, which I got the Media um, 2.1 cubic foot washer, and I'll make a review on that if you want me to, just let me know in the comments below. But as far as the dryer go, um, it is a standard 110 um, volt dryer, so I did hook it up to the wall, and it's plugged up to the wall there. And I have it running right now, so you can hear it as far as the background noise go. It's pretty quiet. I can watch TV, um, but I have to turn. Well, let me retract that. It, it's, it's quiet as far as the neighbors will not know that you have a dryer. It doesn't shake or anything like that. And yes, I can watch TV. Um, I can hold a conversation, but it is a little bit, you can hear its presence, and it is... I'm not going to say loud, but you can hear it. So, I don't know if you can hear it. I do have it running. As far as um, the a couple of things that I was a little concerned about when I was looking for one is the heat. I was wondering, should I put an indoor machine making that squeaky noise. Oh my god. Good morning and welcome to the first episode of Mama Bot. What? Today I'm going to be reviewing the most amazing product. It is the Costway Twin Tub Washer. I bought it on Amazon, and no, I'm not being endorsed for this review. I just really felt obligated to put it out there because it has completely changed the way that I do our laundry. Um, basically, I live in a very small living space with my husband and my two-year-old daughter, and I was hand-washing our clothes, and it got to be so stressful and so hard that I began looking for a alternative way to do our wash. I didn't want to invest in something that was, you know, apartment size because that can run easily anywhere between $500 to $700. And with the objective of eventually moving out of a small space, we decided to settle with this guy. So basically, there is no dryer. It says it is a spin dryer, but that basically is the extraction part of your washing cycle. This particular machine does not self-extract the water out, it works by gravity. So that is a con to using this machine, but it does an incredible job, and I'll show you every little part of it in just a minute. The Costway Twin Tub Washer has two different cycles. It has a soft cycle and a normal cycle, as well as your, your drain option, which I'll show you in a second. It has a spin time of approximately five minutes. Um, the booklet recommends three to two minutes for extracting um, soapy suds, and of course five minutes for extracting clean water after you've washed your clothes to get them pretty dry so that they're ready for hanging. It goes up to 15 minutes for your wash time. I typically use the 15 minutes every time, but if it's a lighter load and it's not that soiled, I'll go for 12. You'll notice that it has two water inlets. These guys are for filling the washer with water. Unfortunately, the adapter that it comes with to hook up to your sink just does not work with most of, well, anybody's kitchen sinks, and I'll show you exactly why. This is the dude that you would be working with. You can see how small it is. It's a little bit flexible, but there's really, there's no rings on the inside, so there's nothing to really attach it to your sink. 
I'm sure that if you had a little bit of a DIY in inspiration, <laughs> you could find an adapter. Unfortunately, my sink just does not just does not work with this. So, yeah. That's basically that. Go home, you're drunk. So instead of filling it with the funky, wonky, tubey thing, <laughs> I basically just use about five little um, tubs of water, and I'll show you what I use for that. To manually self-fill the twin tub washer, I use this cooking pot, which holds about, I would say, at least a gallon of water. This machine can hold an 11 pound capacity and it takes about four to five of these guys to fill it up nicely. So what I like to start with is just by adding my soap. And remember, this is a much smaller machine than what you're used to, so you're only gonna wanna use... This is seriously all you're gonna need. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like when you've put all your clothes in. You kind of squished them down. You don't want to overload this thing. That's a really bad idea. But you can fit, you know, about five to six larger garments. Um, I can actually do an entire load with my daughter's laundry, but again, she's only two years old. So you'll see the filter here. This is going to catch kind of like your lint. And I usually fill the water up to about this point. That way it's not too stressful on the machine, but it still gets the clothes nice and agitated and clean. So now we're going to shut it and we're going to start the machine. I'm going to go ahead and use a soft cycle and I just turn this to the 15 minute mark and there she goes. It works by spinning the clothes in one direction and then the opposite. You can see it's pretty strong. Okay, so the machine just stopped and as you can see, look at that disgusting, sorry I gotta focus here, disgusting water. That is awesome. That makes me feel quite confident. Cat! Cat, mommy! Cat! <laughs> so now we just gotta switch it to drain. It's this way. I know, right? This way. And there's our water. I'm gonna start dumping. Now that I've emptied out all of the soapy water, it's time to extract the soap. So we're just gonna put them a couple at a time. You usually have to split your load in half, depending on how many clothes you have in your washer. So I've got my clothes in here, and I'm just gonna put this little dude right on top and squish him down a little. He's gonna act like a salad spinner, and it's just gonna suck all the water out. I know, right? Can you push that down? Put, make sure it's on drain. Twist it to three minutes. Word um, of advice. Now obviously the way I do it is kind of tedious by using the metal pot to dump all the water out and to fill the machine. What I would recommend, as soon as I can get my hands on some wood, what I'd like to do is build a table that would be able to hold the weight of this washer on it and then I would just be able to use this tube to drop into the tub and just let it, let gravity do its thing. So after you've gone ahead and extracted the soap from your clothes, you can fill the wash tub again with clean water, run another washing cycle to get all the soap out, and then you can extract them and then they're ready to dry. Yay! Yeah! It's going out. Totally. And going out. I know. I like to use this metal hanger that I bought off Walmart.com. It's pretty easy, it's collapsible, so it's not always in the way. The clothes are usually ready to go in about six to seven hours. I hope you enjoyed this review for the Costway Twin Tub Washer. Thanks for watching Mama yes. Bought What, and I'll see you next time. Say bye bye. Here's this one. There's a lot. Here.